John Moyes here from Progression Fitness. This video is just a 10 minute standing stretch video. So I think it would be perfect to do after you've been for a run or a cycle or any form of exercise. Or you could just perform these stretches, but it's always good to get the muscles warmed up before you do stretch. So we're going to start from the bottom and we're going to start with the calf. So all I want to do is take one leg behind the other. So we're just trying to get both feet in a nice straight line and just getting that back foot planted down. So pushing the back heel into the floor and then slowly just bending the front knee if you want to increase the stretch, which we should be feeling between the knee and the ankle. So we don't want too much stretch to start with. We want to try and get the muscle to relax a little bit. Okay, and then once you feel it easing off, just increasing that a little bit more by bending the front knee and keeping that back heel flat into the ground. Okay, we're gonna keep it there. And we can change the stretch slightly by keeping the back foot planted and just carefully bringing that front leg across. So we're now both feet dead in line. And then again, just bending the front knee to increase the stretch. So we're just changing the position of the back ankle, which will change the stretch in the calf. Okay, and then we bring that front leg across a little bit more if we can, and then bend the front knee a little bit more. Back foot stays nice and flat. Okay, so we're getting a good stretch in the calf now. And then can we come out of that? <laughs> good, so let's change legs. Opposite leg. So we just wanna feel a slight pull in that back calf and then slowly just bending the front knee, keeping the back heel flat. You can just kind of relax into it. And just try and feel for the stretch right in the center of the calf. And then we just increase it a little bit more if possible, not forcing it. A muscle won't stretch if it's being forced. And then we just creep that front foot across. So we've got both feet dead in line. Gets a little bit wobbly. Just keeping it there. Increasing it by bending the front knee if you want to. Oops. Okay, and then coming across even more. Last part of the stretch. And just bend the front knee a little bit more maybe. Keeping it there. And then slowly coming back up. Good, so that's good calf stretch. Can we then go into hip stretch? Can we take one leg behind again, but this time can we turn the whole leg from the hip inwards so the kneecap is kind of coming across. And we try and get that back foot flat. And then can we do the same with the front foot? Can we change that and twist it in? And then can we try and get lift in the pelvis and lock that back leg out? And kind of put the weight into the back foot. And once we're comfortable, we just twist our hips even more towards that back leg. So we're getting internal rotation in this hip. So if these muscles are really tight, you might not even feel this stretch to start with. But just try and keep the hips lifted, slightly twisted in, back foot flat. And once the muscle starts to release, we can maybe increase it a little bit more by turning the hips a little bit more. But we must keep the pelvis up, tailbone down, chest up. Okay, and then unwind, we come in, we take the back leg back, we turn that back leg in. So the kneecap's pointing inwards. We get the hips lifted, tailbone down. Keep it there. And if we turn the front leg in as well, can we lock the pelvis in position? And then we twist the hips towards the back leg. So I get more stretch on this leg. And again, just work it. Maybe make some small adjustments in the pelvis where you feel the stretch more, pushing the hips out a little bit, a little bit more twist.
good. Okay, and then can we carefully unwind? Good stuff. So I'm gonna do hamstrings now in the back of the legs. I'm gonna show you this from the side view. So we wanna keep the legs pretty much straight and begin to hinge forward. Now we don't wanna drop the chest. We wanna keep the spine neutral so we have a curve in our lower back. So that's really important because your hamstrings attach up into the pelvis. So if you roll the back, the pelvis will drop down. I want to try and get your tailbone to lift up, keeping that curve in your lower back. And then again, just go into where you feel a slight stretch. You want to feel it more in the belly of the muscle, in the center. Use the hands on the thighs if you like. Actually helps to increase the stretch a little bit as well. And if we can try and increase that curve in your lower back. So you should be getting a nice pull right down the back of the thighs. And then again, just pushing the hip out to one side a little bit, just moving that stretch around, getting deeper, getting into the hip a little bit. And then we come back over to the other side, kind of pushing the weight through the back heel. More on one foot than the other. And then carefully back to the center. Can we then place one leg forward, still with the hamstrings. We're gonna bend the back knee and can we sit back into that heel with the back foot. Again, the spine is neutral. We have the curve in the lower back. We take it forward. Okay. So we're keeping this foot flat because we want to stretch the hamstrings, not the calf. Getting a nice stretch there. Keep it there. So then can we turn the front foot outwards, turning the knee outwards, and then just try to hinge a little bit more. Again, just changing the stretch, working it from a different direction. And turn it inwards. Might start to feel it in the hips a little bit as well. Carefully up from there. Good, so we start with the feet straight, hinge back, sitting back into that back heel. Feeling for the stretch in the center of the muscle. And try and increase the curve in your lower back a little bit more. We turn the foot and the knee outwards, keeping the back in the same position. And then we do the other way. So we're gonna turn the leg in, knee points inwards. Keep it there, a nice stretch now. And then carefully up. Good, so hamstrings done, calves done. So that's the back of the thighs. We're now gonna do the front, the quads. Can we bring one leg? Be careful with this, okay? We wanna try and keep the back in a nice position when we do this. If you find yourself arching too much, then ideally you need a foot support so we're not forcing the leg up. Or just keep the foot on the ground and do more of a quad stretch like this. If you can, we're gonna bring that leg up trying to get our knees together. And then once we're there, we're gonna get nice and tall in the spine, chest up, shoulders open, and just trying to press the knee downwards towards the floor while keeping lifted in the upper body and just pressing the thigh forward. Keep it there. Okay, just be really careful when I over arch in our lower back. So ideally try and keep the tailbone pushing down a little bit as well. Being aware of your hip position when you're stretching is really important to get the most out of the stretches. Okay, and then slowly down. So carefully then can we change legs? So we're gonna bring that back leg up, bringing the heel in towards your hip 
lifting up, keeping that leg just slightly bent that you're supporting on. Okay, we want lots of lift. We get the pelvis to lift up, pressing the knee down, and just standing nice and tall. Use something to hold on to if you wish. Keep it there. Okay, and then try and increase it a little bit more, pressing the knee down a little bit more. Good. And relax. Shake it out. So now we're going to the inside of the legs, the inner thighs. We take the legs out. So when we go until you start to feel a slight stretch on the inside of the thighs. And then can we turn one foot out? We take the knee towards the foot and just ease gently into it. So we start to feel the pull down the inside of this leg. So again, hip position, very easy to let the pelvis tip forward here. So we're gonna try and get the hips to come up. You might wanna turn that leg in a little bit. It makes it a little bit more comfortable into that stretch. Just trying to keep that knee in line with the toes. That's it, so we're getting a nice pull down the inside of this leg, not too much. We then bring this arm up and take it into a side stretch. And then if you want to increase it a little bit more, we can take the straight leg back slowly. Good, and then we come up. One foot in, one foot out. Okay, just gradually bend that knee into the stretch. Find the stretch, feel the stretch. Okay, and then once we're comfortable with the legs, we can then bring that arm up and just slowly reach through your fingers. And then we can take that foot back a little bit more. Feeling that stretch down the inside of the leg. Good. And then ease it back gently. And then slowly, let's bring the feet back in together. So then we finish off with the outside of the thighs. We take one leg behind the other. We're trying to feel the stretch right down the outside of this leg. Again, as you do that, the hips tend to drop forward. So we need to get the hips up, tailbone down. Always focus on the pelvis. Okay, and then we come up with the arm into that side stretch. Okay, and we're kind of reaching through the fingers again lifting through the pelvis, keeping the ribs up, and just pressing that hip outwards. And keep it there. Good. And we can take that back leg back a little bit more, changing that stretch. And then we come up, arm comes over, one foot in, one foot out, up slowly opposite side just gently pushing that hip out again you might want to shift the pelvis forward and back to where you most feel the stretch keep it there I think we take the back leg back a little bit more flexors so can we take one leg back again we've got both feet nice and straight like the calf stretch and we bend the front knee down okay now this stretch is all about getting the pelvis in the right position so we need to be able to get the tailbone down again so we're tilting our pelvis back now the more you tilt there the more pull we should get across the hip and you should feel it Okay, so we've got a nice stretch. We can then bend the front knee a little bit more. And I like to try and get this glute on the back to fire up as well, so we can tighten that glute up. That should also help with the stretch on the front of the hip. And I'm just gonna hold it there. And these muscles get very tight, especially if you're doing a lot of running or if we're sat down a lot. Okay. 
Okay, the knees back, we change that over. Opposite leg, bending the back knee down. Okay, nice solid position. And then slowly begin to take the pelvis back, tailbone down, keeping the head up, keeping the chest up, and then giving the arms up on this one as well. Okay, and then maybe just lifting the head, just opening up all the front of the body. So we're getting a little bit of abdominal stretch as well. And then lift up and up and up. And then keeping the arms around, keeping the feet back together. Okay, good stretch. Hope you feel better for that. I do. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.